Now, our next speaker is Britton on Twitter, and his mentions are a mess. <laughs> He's an amateur retail analyst and the editor-in-chief of Ann Arbor's leading retail opinion blog. Only one. Give it up for Britton Woodman. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Hey, y'all. So, um, when I first submitted this talk, I thought it was going to be just about one business, but uh, our friends at Toastmasters helped me realize it's actually about 12 businesses. Um, if you go from <clears throat> excuse me, Main Street to Carpenter Road along Packard, there used to be 12 different service stations. You could get gas, you could get your car repaired. Um, that was uh, true up until about the 80s, and today that's down to five. Um, you might wonder where they all went. Maybe you don't, because you don't write a retail blog and look at this stuff all day. Um, I can tell you, um, part of it was, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the students. Like, as U of M student enrollment has grown, more and more of those students have moved into the neighborhoods around campus, especially south campus off of Packard. Um, so many of the houses that had many bedrooms there um, became you know, rental houses that held many students. Some of them got torn down and got little apartment complexes around there. And so a lot of those businesses that were, you know, between mostly um, Main Street and Stadium uh, stopped being gas stations entirely and became restaurants to, uh, to help serve those students. Um, in addition, you know, even if you don't need a hot meal right away, maybe you need something that can be put in a box and shipped to you. And especially over the past few years, uh, Amazon leading the way, anything that can be put in a box and shipped to you can be put in a box and shipped to you in a day and a half. So people don't need to drive out to the store as much. Um, they'll come to you. I want to take a minute to talk about cars, too. Cars have become more reliable over the years. I drive a 2016 Civic, and I realize that I've just doomed myself by making that statement. I'm so glad my brother's here, Pete. I'm probably going to need a ride home after this. Don't leave till I leave. Um, here we see uh, Weaver's Sinclair, which is now a Sunoco station, and the only station along the stretch of Packard that still services cars. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, gas is not uh, that cheap anymore. It's, that was 58 a gallon. It's, it's running about 250 now. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> so, yeah, autos have become more uh, fuel efficient as well, and in some cases they don't even run on gas. I went to a concert in Detroit last weekend uh, where my friend drove his uh, Chevy Bolt. He just charges it. There's no gasoline involved. So we have the place across the street from that Arco, it was a Gulf station. It was a uh, auto repair for a while. In the 80s, they stopped doing auto repairs and transitioned completely to a convenience store, but they still ran it out of the same building for a long time until uh, 2016 when the current owner, Circle K, that's where the name of the talk comes from, Circle, Breath of the Circle, um, decided to knock the building down because it was 50 years old and the infrastructure was just kind of weak and start from scratch on the site. Um, this created a little bit of tension in the neighborhood, especially the people right behind it who maybe didn't want a big, new, bright, convenience store building. The old one was you know, set back from all those backyards, um, and that led to a lot of back and forth um, over the ensuing year and a half. They actually didn't get to work until right about now, a year ago, is uh, finally when they tore it down. Um, depending on who you talk to, it was either a really successful process or maybe not such a successful process. That's how it looked um, when it was knocked down. See all the green space in the back, all those trees um, just below it, um, bordering the backyards. Uh, the new space um, <clears throat> doesn't have quite as much green. They planted a lot of new trees. They kept a couple of the old trees, and the old trees don't really provide like cover low down. They've got branches up higher. Um, that's probably a whole other five-minute Ignite talk on its own. So I want to talk about... The rest of the slides are just kind of like a time lapse of um, what I saw driving past it the past year. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So the remaining gas station convenience stores want to know what you will leave the house for if you can get groceries delivered to you from Meyer and Target and anything else from Amazon. And it turns out what you will leave the house for is, is pot, because at least one of them is becoming a dispensary very soon. Um, you'll leave the house for, in some cases, kind of pre-made or, or just made meals. Um, Sheets and Wawa are the big ones outside of Michigan. Speedway is starting to add more like cook to order stuff now, too. Um, you'll leave the house for, you know, phone accessories somewhere, you know, save yourself a trip over to Target if you need it right now. Um, you'll leave the house for cold beer, too. Um, about two years ago, um, 
a rule was changed, and now gas station convenience stores all sell beer where they didn't used to. There's one a block from here that fills growlers. So you can actually take your growler in there and get it filled up, and then don't drink it till you get home, please. Um, anyhow, I talk about this stuff at length, and I can actually control how the pictures appear when I'm talking over them at my blog, which is, like Ryan said, a2retail.space, and I thank you. So come hit me up afterwards. Hey, you keep that? That's right. I keep that. Thank you.